Do 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 do. Killing time until people sign in. Ahoy, you have. I believe you're the first person to comment here. Drunk gamer moment, indeed. <laughs> hey, James Hurley. I started playing the Resident Evil within game walkthroughs. Big chungus, indeed. Hello, everybody. Yeah, I'll just give it a few seconds to let some people come into the chat. Hello, everybody. How's it going tonight? Hello to you, you beautiful bastards. Yeah, it's been a week or so since, in fact, it's been more like two weeks since I've done this now that I think about it. Um, yeah, I was doing a playthrough of the Resident Evil remake, and I got a couple, about two hours into it last time. Then I had to go away on vacation for a week. You know, what can you do? But finally, I've got a little bit of time this evening, and I thought I would continue our little journey into the world of Resident Evil. So, I think there's quite a few people in there already. Let's get started, shall we? So, just for anyone who's not watched the previous playthrough, uh, we have just defeated Yon, the giant snake, so that was all good fun. Uh, I left Richard to do all the work by himself. <laughs> uh, he coped admirably with it, though. So, the next task is for us to head on and get some more of these, like, um, death mask thingies so we can get out of the mansion and over to the guardhouse. So, let's get on with it, shall we? All right. Come shotgun. There we go. Alright, and I've got the chemical, which is going to be a useful thing, because we need to go and put that in the greenhouse. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Go, Jill, you beautiful woman. Still feel like something's going to break through there. Never mind. Hey, that's the armor key used. Good stuff. Please shout out Melody Bernhardt. Who's that? Oh, yeah. I'll take you. Battery pack. Yes. This is a nice atmospheric corridor. Yeah, I see there's a zombie at the window there. You're not getting in yet. All right, here we go. Techie Rocks and asking me, what do I think of the Resident Evil movies? Not a whole lot, but, uh, well, each new installment makes the previous one look better, so the Mila Jovovich movies I used to think were garbage, but then, ooh, don't want to mess with you. Let's get this used, first of all. All right. Oh, no. Uh, leave, first of all. I want to put the chemical in first. All right. So now I need to use this thing, okay? I want to pump water in. Uh, pump the water, yes. Turn the switch. Let's turn it to red. Yeah, and um, when I was talking about the Milo Jovovich movies there, yeah, I used to think they were kind of garbage. And then... Along came Welcome to Raccoon City, and that redefined what garbage was. And I thought that was the worst of it. And then came the Netflix series, and by God, that was terrible. <laughs> it's always good to have lots of herbs, gentlemen. As I certainly discovered in New York, because Jesus Christ, every single street absolutely stank of weed. It's popular there. All right. Yes, I will take the death mask. Thank you. Anything else interesting over here? Not really. So it's such a strange thing to have here, like a greenhouse that's indoors and there's no real windows or anything. Oh well, fuck it. Got what we need here. Off we go. No, of course you're going to burst in. Well, I ain't got time for you. <laughs> it 
someone saying, uh, he Kiro saying, I'm glad the drinker was able to play today like you wanted. I did want this, and I'm so glad I was able to do it. So, uh, do I want to take that? Uh, I'm going to be a bit tight on space here. Let's see what we got over here, first of all. Keeper's Diary. Oh, should I read this? Nah. I tell you what, though, I was watching a, a channel called Residents of Evil, right? Um, obviously specializes in all things Resident Evil, and they managed to get the dude who played Chris in the original 1996 game in, and he was, like, doing a playthrough of the game with them. And uh, he did a read-through of this, um, the, the Keeper's Diary. It was so cool. Well, well. Hello. <laughs> No need to lose the head. Yeah, you were. Someone's mentioning there. Raccoon, welcome to Raccoon City. Was uh, staying loyal to the games with its terrible acting. <laughs> it's like, well, that's true, but like, when you're watching movies, I don't think that's really what you want to go for. All right, I'll take this. Since it's there and all that, is there anything else I need here? Oh, shelf is full. I proof liquor. Now you've got my attention. Oh, hi. So, uh, how's your day going? Alright, off we go. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Darren Manias says, uh, barricade yourself in the liquor room. <laughs> yeah, it's the best place to be, man. All right, let's see. So, yeah, I've got a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, what's this? Yeah, handgun magazine. Uh, okay. Probably need to head outside to the graveyard. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Because I think I've got to put the death mask in the thing to open the thing. I love this room. It's so goddamn atmospheric. Well, actually, I need to check. I pushed the statue off. Did I pick up the jewel that was in it? I think I did. Ah, I'm fine. Right, cool. So, best way to get there. Okay, yeah. Let's go. Actually, will this armor key open up this bit here? Uh, okay. That's helmet key. Also, what does the door down here require? Hmm. Well, <laughs> that sounds promising. Yeah, that's where Lisa Trevor's hanging out. She's a lovely lass. I mean, to be fair, updated worse. <laughs> so, Firaki Oliver's saying, oh god, Tatiana's in the dungeon again, drinker. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the safest place to put her. You know, it's for her own safety. Yeah, it's over here. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, so I've got to find the right place to put this fella. Uh, so, examine what has he got missing. It's a death mask without eyes. Okay, it seems like... This would be... Uh, where's the one that's missing its eyes? Is there any over here? Yeah, it's got to be this one here. Yeah, okay. So, on you go. There's someone here saying uh, Crimson Heads are the best part of the remake. I mean, I think Lisa Trevor is probably the best part. Like... Those are some proper tense scenes where you know you can't actually damage her. You just have to run away from her. It's like, shit, man. Um, 
puts the pressure on. Ooh, who are you? Ah, yeah. I've got to do that later. Okay, I'll have to come back to this bit. So, I have to get the rest of the death masks. Okay. Where to next, mateys? So, oh yeah, I remember. The east hallway downstairs is absolutely rammed full of zombies because they all burst in, so... Probably don't want to go that way. Yeah, someone's asking me about Sweet Home. It's the game that inspired Resident Evil. It is indeed, yes. Uh, I think that was the one that had all the, the pre-rendered backgrounds as well. Or there was also Alone in the Dark. Both of them were like inspirations for this. What the Terry Funk? We got zombies that open doors now. Which direction is he coming from, though? This is the tension of pre rendered backgrounds, you see. You don't know where your enemies are coming from. You can't just peek around corners. Jesus Christ, he's taking his time, whatever he's doing. You gonna show up at some point? There we go. Yeah, you won't be coming back. Yeah, go away now, zombie. <laughs> All right, next section. Uh, I want to check. If there's something in here that I need. Yes, okay. That's the armor key used up. Good. How much space do I have here? Alright, not too bad. Should be enough to pick up whatever I need here. Bad day for someone. <laughs> Captain Combustion <laughs> says, Zombie! Oh my god, it's Drinker! I'm a huge fan! <laughs> well, you're only human. Or at least you used to be. Jesus, this game throws fucking healing items at you. Uh, that always freaked me out, that. Where are those footprints going? Don't know. Okay. Uh, no, no more herbs. I think we've got plenty of healing items right now. Yeah, okay. Uh, someone's saying they were waiting for my review on Black Adam. Well, I've put up my initial thoughts on my second channel. Um, so you can go see that there. Once I'm finished with this game, naturally. Uh, so it was Mauler and I talking about it since we'd both seen it. Um, but I will put up a proper review tomorrow. I've already got the script done. But overall, didn't didn't hate it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Drink out to know about the secret room in the game. You get to have sex with a sexy zombie. Well, <laughs> tell me more. Uh, right, okay. So, Alma, I tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected. Oh. And there's no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the one thing that separates my, me from them. My love for you. The power of love, you see. Couldn't protect you from becoming a zombie, though. Alright. Could you be Tofu in the first one? Asks M. Night Shalaman. So, no. That wasn't until the second one. Sadly. Uh, what have we got over here? Yes, I will take. Okay. I wonder if I need to put this other one over here. Use. Okay. And then. Huh. Okay. Let's have a s I'll look around and see if there's anything else I'm missing. Ah, what have we got here? 
Yes, I wonder if I need to combine it. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Why can't I combine them? All right. Clearly I'm missing something here. Ah, I wonder if this one's missing the hook. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm going to have to use an item to get rid of this. Uh, that'll do. Okay. There we go. Right. Use. Fingers crossed. This will work. Let's hope for the best. Uh, okay, so I need to put the other one in here, presumably. All right, in you go. There we are. Lovely. Oh no, bees! <laughs> Not the bees! Ah, oh, my eyes! Give me it! Yes, I will take the wind crest. Now, is there anything else I need to do in this room? all I need from here. Out we go. Not the boom! Okay. So we're fine there. Uh, we've got, I think, two crests now, actually, because I'm pretty sure the other one is downstairs. Someone's asked me if I'm going to do a Drinker's Extra Shots for 13 hours, which is an excellent movie. So I would totally be up for doing that. Ooh, you look pretty red. You're going to come back to life, aren't you? You bad boy. Uh, have you tried the Resident Evil 1 fan remake demo? I think that's the one that uses assets from like Resident Evil 2 to make it properly 3D, and it looks fantastic. Haven't played it yet, though, um, but if it gets a proper release, man, I'd be excited to give it a go. I uh, don't need you. Let's see if I've got the other crest here. Uh, Blue gemstone. Well, I will need you. And death mask. I don't know what the wooden mount is for. Right. Jewelry box. Clearly I need to combine something with this. Let's try it. Will the jewel go in here? Let's examine you. What are you missing? Yes. Nothing's happening. Hmm. Okay. Sign of the sun and the moon. On the p sunshine will awaken me. Huh. It doesn't look like I can fit a crest into this thing. That's the only thing. Uh, right. Can I? Wind crest. Hmm. Alright, I'll put that back in there for now, and then we'll go and use the jewel. And we'll put the death mask in the cemetery again. So, yeah, that's fine for now. Hmm. There's no point in taking this crest, actually, until I've got both of them, so I'll leave you there. Right, that'll do it for now. Someone's asked me if I'm going to do a review on House of the Dragon. Yes, I am. Oh, really? That's what you're going to do to me, is it? Motherfucker. I'm going to have to fight my way through that hallway then. Bastards. Um, yes, I will do a review of House of the Dragon. Uh, I've still got to watch the final episode, but um, generally it's been good, apart from that stupid bit with the dragon. Uh, at the, the end, uh, the penultimate episode, that was a bit shitty, um, but hopefully it finishes on a high, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to giving it hopefully a good review.
This is where I'm going to have to do some blasting to get through the zombies that have infested that corridor, but it's the only way to get round there, I think. Oh, yeah. That's it. Let's go then, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> so Liam Smith saying I admired your principled stance on this being this game being the ultimate Resident Evil game over four when I was talking with Az and, and Mauler. Well the thing is Mauler's a young'un and he didn't really experience Resident Evil back in the day, but I did. And so playing this game, particularly seeing it perfected essentially, uh, that was more than enough for me. Um, four definitely had its place, but it was so action oriented, man, and it totally it took the series down a bad path that culminated in Resident Evil 6. So, yeah, it's uh, this is definitely my preference. Um, but maybe it's because I'm old and boring, I suppose. All right, let's see if we can take his head off. I don't know. He might get up from that. Oh, hi. It's a busy hallway, this one. <laughs> I love that bald guy just standing there. See, will it come off? Ah, close enough. Looks like they're down at least. Okay, uh, only got two left. Someone's asked me if I enjoy Resident Evil 4. I absolutely enjoy it, yeah. It's just, for me, it's uh, a, f a fantastic action horror game. It's just not quite the Resident Evil experience that um, I look for. But the, res the remake of Resident Evil 2 is fantastic. Can't, can't knock it. Okay. Uh, the title is written as follows. Bring the light of truth to the three spirits. All right, okay. Okay, so blah, blah, blah. What have we got here? Picture of a saint wearing a crown. It's set in yellow stained glass. There's a switch here. No, not yet, because I need to figure out what I'm doing. All right, what have we got here? Lisa, protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace. Okay, uh, yeah, so make note, gentlemen. So the thing she's wearing around her head is green, the necklace is purple, and the bracelet is orange. All right, yeah, the crown. <laughs> Doesn't look like much of a crown. So green crown, yeah, green, purple, orange. All right. because I need to make sure that these things are right. Okay, so what we've got to get, what we've got to do here is get the pictures to line up with what we're doing here. Crown. So we want, no, that's not right. We want the crown to be green. Right, so clearly that one needs to go off. Okay, good. So then the bracelet. Sorry, no, the necklace has to be purple. No, that's not right. Let's see what happens when we turn the switch over here. Okay, so the other switch has to go off, and that should turn that purple. All right, good, and then the bracelet should be orange. Orange, okay, good, that's it. Hopefully that's gonna work. Hold on to your butts. There we go. We're outside. Death mask, yay! What I'm also going to do, since I'm here, 
because I believe that there's some bots in the stream, so I'm just going to put them out. Give me one second. Talk amongst yourselves for a second while I deal with this. Uh, here we go. I should deal with that. Alright, good. Okay, we got this open. <laughs> Thank you, Drinker. Porn has no place on this live stream. It has lots of places elsewhere, but I don't want to. Be, I don't want to be doing porn and gaming at the same time. They are mutually exclusive. <laughs> Medic says, "I just picked up dark, picked up Dark Harvest by some tool named Will Jordan." Ah, he sounds like an asshole, man. I wouldn't talk to him. I wouldn't read his books. Uh, let's examine which one this is. So, yeah, so this one doesn't have a mouth. Uh, looks like that one there. So we'll use it. Nice. Someone's asked me what I'm drinking tonight. Tonight I am drinking an IPA. Uh, and sadly, I'm actually almost out, so I'm going to have to get a refill. Right, so use that one there. Oh. Really? Seems like it doesn't have a nose. And that's... Use. There we go. Okay. So we just need one more death mask, and then we're good to go. Jill. Uh, actually, is that the best way to go? Uh, yeah. It is the best way to go. Alcotic Sin, how you doing, Drinker? I am doing just fine. I mean... It's a it's a dark and stormy night in October, and I'm playing Resident Evil. What's not to like? Do I have a crest on me? No. <laughs> yeah, people mentioning there's a um, dude who often posts on my uh, on my videos trying to scam people, offering them a PS5, pretending to be me. It is a scam, clearly. So ignore it. Pat Bateman asked me when's my next book, so I don't know because I haven't written my next one yet. So I need to take a bit of time and decide what I'm going to do. Someone's asking as well: Is there jiggle physics on Jill when she's going down the stairs? Yes, there is. Look, I don't know if you can see it from here. Oh, 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 oh! This guy's still alive. Can I get past him? Yeah. Hi. Oh, there's a knife there as well. Shit, remind me to get that on the way out. What you gonna give me? Ah, that's coincidentally quite useful right now. Not quite what I wanted though. Because I need another death mask. Yeah, someone suggested I do a coming-of-age story about a girl and her vampire boyfriend. <laughs> Sounds familiar, but I don't know. Yeah, someone reminded me to get the knife, which actually was really useful, because I think I almost would have forgotten about it already. Uh, well, that's alcohol-induced brain damage for you. Uh, right to the save room. Look, 
look at those jiggle physics. In fact, I'll walk backwards for you gentlemen. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> mm, cleaning products. That's disgusting. Uh, okay. I haven't seen Barry for a while in this game, actually. I'm getting a bit lonely. I need him to, I need him to show up. Assassin Dawn asks, how was my vacation to New York? It was excellent. Um, the thing I'm still perplexed about with New York, right? Why is there always steam coming up out of like the, the drain covers and things like that? It honestly makes me feel like there's a fucking volcano underneath Manhattan. I always thought that was just a thing that they did in the movies because it looked atmospheric, but no, it really happens. Let's save this here. Yes, use the ink ribbon. Someone's mentioned there's a tempest in New York. Other people are saying it's from boilers or the subway system. Could well be. I don't know why the subway would be particularly hot, though. Uh, right. I'll go and put the wind crest in something. I still don't understand what the fuck this is. Let's take it. Can I open it? Okay. Ah, wait. I've got a, a thought that it's a map. Yeah, do I not mount this on a plate and then set it on fire? Um, fuck it, I'll put that back in there for now. Uh, anything else I need from here? Probably not. Yeah, someone's mentioned the windcrest is used later in the game. Interesting. I'll keep it with me for now, just in case. Someone else was asking if I'll review Bullet Train. Yeah, I will, actually. Um, yeah, I just need to get around to it. I'm going to do a review of Black Adam first. Can I get in here? No. And then, yeah. Probably I want to do Halloween Ends as well, since it's the time of year and all that. Ah, son of a bitch. Uh, can you let me at least fire my gun? Yeah, I got stun locked there, basically, which was rather annoying. Uh, let's check the map. See where I need to get to next. Okay. Uh, right. Don't believe I can go that way. That bit is locked. Yeah. It's going to have to be the other side of the house then, I think. Does this bring me out? Can I get in there? I think it might be locked from the other side, yeah. Uh, Evan Malley says someone's been reacting to my YouTube content, Tyrone Magnus. Uh, yeah, I've had him on my live streams before. Uh, he's a great guy. Really funny. Uh, just a really nice dude as well. Uh, great to talk to him. And his reaction videos are hilarious, so uh, all good. See if I can put the crest in here, and at least gets rid of it, so I don't have to worry about it for a while. Oh, it could be the wrong shape! Yeah, son of a bitch! Okay. So, what's still needing done? There's one more death mask that I need. 
to open up the, the next section. So, where do I still need to go? Mm. Where have I not been yet? Let's check. So, turn all those sections up there. Oh, actually. Second floor. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay, might need to head over to... Yeah, that side of the mansion. See if there's anything there that I can use. Alright, I need to get a refill. Because this is ridiculous. I'm without beer. Give me a second while I fire this one up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ah, the best sound in the world. Mm. That's better. Okay. So I've been in there already. Been in the armor room, got that stuff. In here. Yeah, I played the piano already, done that bit. Someone has suggested the jewelry box. That's a good point, actually. Press the heart switches. Interesting. Let's take a look. There we go. Yeah, well done, person. All right, good. So we have that. Let's dump the crest for now. We've got the death mask, so we can go outside, release the crimson head that's in the underground tomb, and hopefully get something that I need from that. Uh, I should probably take a little bit of ammo as well, just in case it all goes tits up. I'll take you. Hi. Uh, oh yeah, I have to go back. Go, Joe, go. Go, 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 go. Someone's asked me if I'm going through the Modern Warfare campaign. Well, yeah, it's out round about now. Would you guys like me to stream some of it? And you can watch me embarrass myself. How about I complete this first and then give it a crack? Sounds like a plan to me. This is the way. Uh, the game generally looks really good. Um, so I am looking forward to playing it. I'm looking forward to the multiplayer as well, because I've been playing the original like Modern Warfare multiplayer for what seems like three years now. It's been fantastic, but it's time to move on. Yeah. Juricic says, bounce, 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 bounce. <laughs> bounce your way to freedom, Jill. We're going to get through this together. Uh, so this last one doesn't have a mouth, which will be you. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah, that's, that's on already. So, yeah, that's the only one that doesn't have one.
Let's get some heavy artillery just in case this goes tits up. Yeah, I see what you're doing here. Brian H says, need an as drinker war zone drunk stream. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Dumb fuck. <laughs> I'm so used to aiming upwards for the zombies. <laughs> I will take the stone and metal object, thank you. Alright, get back to the shotgun. All good. going any further here. Map. Yeah, so this bit's about as far as we can go. Uh, ah, yes. There's that door at the end of that hallway. Of course! Don't forget about that. Let's go. <laughs> she hulk was the best TV show ever, said no one. Oh wait, I can go in this way, can't I? We've got a little shortcut here. Lovely. Shit, Jesus, Gamer Boy says my Kickstarter has got over 206,000. Shit, man. It's insane. The, the response to that has been incredible. Like, totally blown away by it. And yeah, I can't wait to get this, this short film made. It should be great fun. Yeah. <laughs> Cartoon Man says it makes you think how the scientists actually got any work done when they had to move around a place like this, <laughs> filled with traps and puzzles, yeah. Uh, that, is a, that is very true. I love the fact that all this stuff's meant to have happened about a month ago, like the, the zombie outbreak and everything, and yet there's still, like, rooms with candles lit in them. Damn, how did that work? Sounds like there's a doggo here. But hopefully I can avoid it. Down, boy. Oh, yeah. Ah, yes. This is the bit that leads me down to where Lisa's at. So, do I go there now? Could I? Should I? Would I? Would you? I think I actually have to go down there because I'm sure I need a crank or something. Bear with me one second because I'm pretty sure someone else is spamming the chat. And I'm going to deal with this. This is what it must be like being a mod. Nightmare. I don't even know what I'm doing. Give me one second, John. Someone talk amongst yourselves. Hide user. There we go. You be gone. Okay. That's better. Tatiana has the crank, yeah. Oh, God, I remember this thing. There's a puzzle here, isn't there? No, because I can't remember what direction I've got to make these things go again. Barry! No, it's not, it's Brad. Oh no, it is Barry. <laughs> That's right, Jill. Stay away from that forest outside the mansion. You'd be a fool to go there. I love these backgrounds. They just, they make me happy. They look great. Uh, okay, this is where things get annoying. 
Right, the gate will open when the guard dog's desires are fulfilled. Okay, so what do the doggos want? Blue eyes, the inscription reads, the last gasps of destruction. So the blue one has to face... That way? Statue with red eyes, the inscription reads, the war cry of revenge. Okay. So... Wait, no, I want map. Which way is north? Okay, so the blue one's facing south by that rationale, and that means this red one is facing east. Okay, south and east. Uh, yes! No, and then the other one. This red one has to go east, presumably. Should be able to open it now, I think. No, apparently not. Huh, what do you want, doggo? Blue? Ah, okay, maybe it needs to go west. That looks better. Or do I need to face them towards the gate, I wonder? Yeah, maybe that's it. It's facing away from it, so it must go east. Okay, so that one's facing it, and let's try the other one. People are saying red west and blue north. I'm not really sure how, I'm, how they're getting that, though. I mean, I'll try it. Nope. Let's try again. Ah, there's a sign early in the area. Okay, fair enough. I must have missed the sign. Fair dues. My bad. But thank you, chat, for helping me out on that one, because otherwise I would have been scratching my head for freaking ages on that. Does it, boys? Okay, yeah, people were mentioned in chat. Yeah, this is where you get the magnum, so I just need the wind crest. 
Someone's asking me, Drinker, excited for the Resident Evil 4 remake? I am. It looks pretty good. I mean, although it's not like my favorite... <laughs> this sounds promising. It's not my favorite game in the whole series, but uh, it's really fucking good. And I'll be interested to see it redone with like next-gen graphics. So, yeah, let's give it a go. And I'll definitely do a playthrough of that. Look at these backgrounds, man, with the fog and everything. So cool. Alright, let's just check if there's anything over here that I need before I go in. Uh, anything over here? Nah, not really. So we're going to have to go in there and get a few things. Yeah, we'll just see what happens, I suppose. This is where Tatiana hangs out. Well, this is a cozy little place, isn't it? I can't imagine anything bad happening here. Type prayer, check. We've got items here? Oh yeah, an item box as well. I'll take the wind crest then. Might as well save it here, since I've got some ink ribbons kicking about. Uh, yeah, whatever. Fractured mind, she's gone crazy because she got tortured. It's all bad stuff. Someone was asking, is anyone in the chat a Cynical Reviews fan? Uh, I do like him, actually, and um, I've invited him on stream, so we'll just see if we can get him in. There must be something else here. Right, there must be something in here that I can grab. Uh, anything in here? Oh, yeah, wait, I'll take you. Map of the courtyard, yes. Must be something else useful here. Uh, Missed the ammo and battery in the other hut. Where's that? Let's check the map. Where are we at here? Oh yeah, wait. There's more. But wait, there's more. Jump down? There you go. Well done, Joe. Yes, the crank. Lovely. Anything else here? No. Right, so we have the item that we need. Let's progress. Now we just need to get out of here alive. Someone's mentioned that Resident Evil Zero is great. It is indeed. It's a pretty good game. Not as good as this, but it's still fun, you know. Oh dear. I don't know why she knocks you out. And then doesn't, like, kill you immediately. <laughs> oh, shit. Took a hit there. Alright. We need to leave this place. Oh, yeah, she was saying... Well, someone's saying, like, she thinks that you're her mom, which is fair enough, but then she's 
does try to kill you anyway, so why didn't she just do that right off the bat? Is there another bit down here? No, yeah, I think this is all we got here. Right, sounds like we got some zombies on the prowl. Yeah, it's nothing over here, so let's go. That was a nice shot of Jill's chest there. I appreciate that. Hello, sir. How's it going? Don't mind me. Damn, he was tough. Yeah, Lisa Trevor is kind of one of those great, like, monstrous characters that's also really pathetic and, and tragic. Like, she's had this horrible, um, yeah this horrible experience of being tortured and losing her entire family. Ah, oh, the crows are kicking off now, honestly. It's nothing but hassle in my life. Oh, you're fucking kidding. Uh, Beckin' crows. I also need space for this last one. Shit. The only logical thing is I'm going to have to use this. Which is annoying. Oh no, I could have actually just placed them in here. <laughs> okay. Let's see what's on the back of these. No, don't want to combine it. Examine it. Cross. See, there's spammers in the chat again. Give me one second here. Keep having to. It's honestly spammers than it is the zombies. There we go. Examine. Okay. What have you got? It's weird how they just do this strange time wasting puzzle. Like, there's no particular, like, skill to this. It's just. Do the thing, do the thing again, and do the thing a third time. Yes, I'll take the sun crest. Someone's asking, why does my channel always have spam bots? Does YouTube have it in for me? It's just because, I guess, when you get to a certain level of infamy, um, the bots find you, sadly. And it's just, uh, it goes with the territory. Frustrating, but especially for the people that are watching. Back off. Damn, they really messed her up there. Alright, use the last one. <laughs> Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. Ugh. You just know you're gonna fuck up some zombies' days with that. Awesome. Someone's saying, watch the crows, they'll steal your glasses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like in Father Ted. Feckin' birds again. <laughs> Oh, there we go, yeah. Should have read that when I came down here. Well, I had like, I had you lovely people in chat there to help me out, so I appreciate that. Alright. Ooh. A battery. 
I missed that the last time because the chat window was partially blocking it. That's why I didn't sort of pick it up. Okay, what else have we got in here? Nothing really. Anything cool there? Just a bunch of assorted stuff. Yeah, nothing terribly useful there. Okay. How's Jill looking? She's at caution status. That's that's not good. That makes me mad. In memory serves, there's dogs out here, but I could be wrong. Is that herbs in there? No. Nah. This is Brad. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Dermot McQuaid says, what are your thoughts on King Charles III? <laughs> I mean, I haven't really had a chance to review him yet, so I don't know. Yeah, there's some doggos here for sure. Right. Maybe I can sneak past them, although I suspect that's not going to work. If I get close to them and then just blast them, that seems like the better strategy here. Come on, doggo. All good. Unfortunate that I didn't have my pistol handy because I don't like wasting shotgun shells on dogs, but well, not much choice here. Anything in here? No. Pretty sure I need the battery to get down there. Is there shells in the last room? I'm not sure I believe that. I'll have a little check though. Let's have a little check. Oh, yeah, there they are. Fuck's sake, how did I miss that? Nice one, chat. You just gained me six extra shotgun shells. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drink to you guys for that. Well done. Mm, good stuff. All right, off we go. I feel like it might be worth taking that stuff because there's usually snakes hanging around in this garden area and they're a bit of a pain in the arse especially if you get poisoned all right hmm a pool of water Perhaps I need a crank here. Yeah, people are talking about the graphics here. It's funny, right? Because they did like an HD remaster of this. That's what I'm playing it on. Um, <laughs> and the in-game graphics are great, but then you, you see FMV sequences like this, and it looks like absolute dog shit. <laughs> like... They obviously haven't upscaled that, which is really weird. Go, Jill. Oh, by the way, I know probably people will have sent me a few super chats while I've been doing this, um, and I will answer them. If you give me a second, I'll just get to a, a safer spot so I can do a few. Down we go. This is this one here. The Lizard King of DC says, Tipping $5 to hear the drinker read this, Galadriel is my queen. <laughs> yeah, the only queen. Fucking crows again, honestly. Well, don't want to be dealing with this shit, so off we go. She's my queen. Yeah, give me one second. I will do a few super chats here, just in case they came in. All right, bear with me one second. So, first one that came in was the coconut who gave me a, um, a super sticker. So thanks, says. Uh, thank you for that. Zagros Ozkan says you got to try Beyond Good and Evil. Ah, uh, yes, I've heard that. That's really good. 
Um, Lord Camper says, what do you think about the new Resident Evil 4 and Dead Space remakes? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm moderately pleased about Resident Evil 4 getting a, a remake. Uh, I think the original was perfectly fine, really, in terms of graphics and stuff. But, you know, I'm sure it'll benefit from a bit of a spruce up. It just depends how much they're going to change, like, gaming-wise. Like, is it going to be something like this, where you've essentially got an entirely new game? Or are they just going to make it, like, sharper? Um, Acharnobog says, Drinker, have, if you've heard of Wolf Soldiers, but have you heard of Wolf Warriors? A Chinese movie about special forces training interrupted by an outside force. No werewolves, but CGI wolves. Coincidence? I think not. Uh, no, I haven't done that, man. Um, Zagros Ozcan. Uh, oh, no, sorry, I've done your one. Um, also from Zagros Ozcan, a second one says, Saw that new game, uh, Scorn. Super, super creepy. It does, yeah. It looks uh, gory as fuck as well. So, all good stuff. Uh, let me just get through here. Oh, that'll be the snakes then. Hello. Assholes. To the guardhouse. Uh, Martin Van Vigel says, How do you feel about the RE4 remake? Trailers look amazing so far. They do indeed. Let's get those jiggle physics going. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, do a couple more so you guys can just enjoy the view while I do a couple of super chats. Uh, Stephen Bobo, what's your opinion about the Fatal Frame series? I know nothing about Fatal Frame, I'm afraid, mate. I don't, I couldn't tell you. Um, Jared Metheny says, thoughts on RE4 Silent Hill 2 remake? Stream RE4 remake. Yes, I will stream it. Silent Hill 2, the trailer looks a bit weird. Um, not necessarily in a good way, but... Uh, I think it's a different team that are doing it as well. Uh, there you go. <laughs> There's a nice view. Um, Taker610 says, Who needs a Prime Minister or Premier? Not the UK, says I. <laughs> yeah, apparently not. We're just going through them like I go through beers. Uh, Juan Sendigar says, Have you seen Black Adam and Hellraiser 2022? I've seen Black Adam now. Haven't seen Hellraiser yet. Um, but I'll do a review of Black Adam tomorrow. GMT TMZ says, please try the evil within, drinker. I'm sure you will find it entertaining. Main character has drinking issues. Made by the creator of Resident Evil. Big fan of your work. Thank you. James Moore. Personally, I recommend skipping the evil within and go straight to playing its sequel, Evil Within 2. Better game overall. Nice. A Chernobog says, dog soldiers. I'm dumb. So yeah, I, I get what you meant there. Uh, Zagros Ozcan says, Drinker, you got to buy a PS2 Fat plus Network Adapter plus Battlefront 2 and revive the community by streaming live PvP. <laughs> Would be awesome. <laughs> Fucking hell, that's a blast from the past. Uh, a PS4 going online now. Sorry, PS2 going online now. Uh, the other one was... Um, I can't remember. I can't see your name because it's in different characters, but it says, Did you see all the Silent Hill games coming out? Um, I didn't play them all. Um, I think played the first two or three, and then kind of fell out after that. But uh, yeah, kind of. I definitely remember the first couple on on the PlayStation One and Two. Um, yeah, Pig Riser says this is the worst St. Johnston versus Berwick Rangers match I've ever seen. I don't know, man. I've seen some bad ones. David Back says, Drinker, I saw your Kickstarter is doing very well. Are you satisfied with the progress on that project? Uh, well, I mean, our goal was to reach 20,000 um, 20, pounds, and we're at like 200,000. So I'd say I'm pretty satisfied overall. Uh, no, it's been fantastic. So, yeah, we're only a few days into the Kickstarter as well. It's insane. Okay, it's locked. Ah, save room. Delightful. Oh, have you? Because I'll dump all this stuff in my uh, item box. Okay, probably not going to need that right now. It's a bit overpowered. So I want that little self-defense item because they are always handy with my terrible aim. And I'll take you.
Alright. Save our game, just in case I fuck up and we all get killed. Yes. Someone's asking Jill or Ashley. I would choose Jill any day of the week. Ashley's always just been really annoying. I, I never really got the appeal there. Uh, Low Pro says, I could respect RE4 for getting rid of the tank controls, but jumping headfirst into the over-the-top action giant monster QT event uh, playstyle just felt wrong for an RE game for me at the time. Yep, I don't disagree. Uh, Jamie Roshim gave me $5. Thanks, man. Uh, Zach Luna says, Hey, drinker, I'm drinking a nice crispy uh, cerveza. Nice. Did you like Andor? I didn't care to watch Mando, um, Boba Fett, or Kenobi made me lose any hope for a good Star Wars show. Yeah, I've, I'm watching Andor at the moment. Um, haven't got to the end of it or anything, but um, so far, it's been okay. Not amazing, not terrible, but um, I definitely appreciate the world building. All right, dump you. That's good, and probably don't need the crank for now. Uh, right. Off we go on our little adventure. Um... Mock, sorry, Mobux says, I love how YouTube deletes my comments automatically for cursing, but doesn't do anything about scam bots. Yeah, it's it's really shit, and I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, you can always just put inventive words in for, for swear words instead. Um, ben Dover says, you prefer Crown or Jack? Jack all the way. Low Pro says, I thought of using a Splinter Stealth style of gameplay with emphasis on resource management would have served it better. Stealth would have serve a secret squirrel agent like Leon in that situation. It probably would, actually, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the all-action approach, like, over-the-shoulder gameplay, it, it definitely made for really immediate, really visceral battle scenes, but... Yeah, damn, man. It's, uh... It got a bit overwhelming after a time. And the thing is, as well, like, when you're talking about survival horror, like, the horror elements kind of vanish because the enemies that you're fighting are... Um... They're they're almost they're not humans, but like they've got the intelligence of humans, you know, and that they can use weapons, they can communicate with each other and stuff, and so it stops becoming scary for me because they they just seem like people that are kind of fucked up. All right, do I need to go in here? I feel like there's something in here I need to get. I remember there's spiders in here, which is not good. Okay, might need to get myself a lighter. Ooh, that's nice. Shotgun shells? Yes, don't mind if I do. Yes, I'll take that, and I'll take this. Well, you're showering me in lovely stuff here. Check to see if there's anything upstairs that I need as well. <laughs> nice poster. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> there is something significant about the order. It's that fucking passcode thing that you've got to deal with later. Ah, shit. I gotta try and clear a path here otherwise yep here it comes oh, motherfucker right you gotta come and get me come at me bro there we go fuck hmm. interestingly I'm not poisoned which is nice Anything I should take note of here? Oh, okay. I'm sure there is a special way to use this little book. Right, I need to get rid of some of this stuff as well. I've got too much, too many items on me. Um, 
Psycho XD says, this game brings back memories, doesn't it just? I mean, it's just, it seems like the perfect thing to be playing around Halloween, really, doesn't it? Um, Claudio Rogojan, you should play Outlast on here, it would be funny. It would indeed. <laughs> Watch me get killed multiple times. Uh, anything else I need here? I probably don't need that right now. I'm going to keep as much space free as I can. There we go. Uh, Nemi says, Have you played A Plague Tale Requiem? It's, if so, thoughts. The story and voice acting is amazing. I'll give it a recommendation. Nice. I haven't played it myself, man, so I don't know. Uh, Judo Cricket says, Short film, you're approaching Hollywood money. We need gender and race swapped Ryan Stat. I know, yeah, I've got to start preaching the message. Um... Casey Boyd says, cast Tatiana Maslany as trans Ryan Drake. Do it. I'm sure she could absolutely hold her own in an action scene. Uh, she seems like that kind of gal. Uh, what says, already more thrilling than what Netflix did. <laughs> this game's good. Yeah, this game's the bomb, man. I fucking love it. I should have... RE2, the remake. Uh, Rob the Builder says, hail drinker. Just wondering how you go about getting footage for your reviews. Figured it ask a seasoned and drunken pro. So, um, anything in here? Yeah, you can usually just download it off YouTube. You know, there's usually a clip of something that you need from, like, whatever scene from a movie you want, and it's just a case of splicing it all together. Keep it under about eight seconds, and you probably won't get struck by copyright, so you should be okay. Uh, but yeah, it's just a, a time-consuming process, you know? Uh, if you've got, like, a nice extension on your, your Firefox, you can just download anything you want off YouTube, no problem. Uh, the Lizard King of DC also says, oh yeah, the Caladriel is my queen. There we go. Uh, what else? Okay. Well, let's carry on. Let's see what we can do. Nice window. Ooh, newspapers containing articles about stars, bit of world building there. Yeah, I want to go and get that map first. See what we can see. There's a map of the residence. Take it, yes. Okay. That door's locked. Oh, what kind of skullduggery is going on here? Let's investigate, shall we? Jill. Oh, they turned off the jiggle physics. God damn it. Talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You all right? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm alright. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. <laughs> get some fresh air. You know, have a nice cup of coffee, chill out. Air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. I love in the original version of this scene where Barry's just like, oh, I guess I'll just go outside and be eaten by a monster. <laughs> He's just so over the top. <laughs> Gotta love it. Right, the plant 42. Uh, yeah, okay, blah, 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 blah. There's a plant, we've got to kill it, whatever. We'll see what's in the toilet. Yeah, JPD is like, why would anyone want to split up in this situation? That is a very good question. 
obviously they've got to keep things keep things going. You know, they got to maintain the the whole like oh, hello. Oh, son of a bitch. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Someone just said a fat Barry log floating in there. Yeah, Jill, I left you a little present. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Uh, okay, what's the best way to do this? There we go. Let's see if this is room 101. Yeah, 001. Yeah, I should go back there then and use this. Unfortunately, I am injured, which is annoying. Yeah, because I know, like, this is going to lead me downstairs into the basement, but I just know that what I need down there is going to be in that room. So, yeah, let's go back there. Go, Jill. Jiggle your way there. That's why I'm doing this. Um, what's this? Holy hell, the drinker's streaming a game. Uh, I feel like I've stumbled across something so delicious, yet so taboo. Congrats on the watching crowdfunding. Sorry, the amazing crowdfunding. Thank you, man. And yeah, this uh, me doing these, these gaming streams, it feels so wrong, but it feels so right. Uh, Guardian Fortress says, Hello, find your channel via EFAP. Way, thank you. Uh, have you ever seen Patton? It's one of the best movies I've ever seen. Yes. Um, I can't remember the guy who... Um, who played Patton, he was in Doctor Strangelove, but he was definitely channeling that same kind of performance there. Um, yeah, it's a fantastic movie. Um, I just, I'm going here. Oh, I thought there was going to be herbs here. Mm. Uh, just loads and loads of blue ones. Let me just go and get some green herbs just to get myself patched up here. Because I'm a bit fucked up right now. And not just from the booze either believe it or not. Did I miss any super chats while I was going? I'll take you. You lovely green herb, you. I could probably ditch the grenade launcher as well. Yeah, isn't that a safe room music great? Oh, I'm still at caution, motherfucker. Fine, use another one. Alright, we're all good now. Give me one second. Yeah, God 004 says, Halo Drinker played any boomer shooters lately? Yeah, Modern Warfare. <laughs> that's, that's pretty boomerish. I remember when the first war Modern Warfare came out like 10 years ago and it was fucking incredible. Uh, yeah, still love it. M. Night Shaman says, ever played Max, 3, Max Payne 3? Yes, I played it and completed it. I played it again recently and I found it was so refreshing for a 10-year-old game. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, Max was obviously very different. They went for a different style with that one. It became like a Sicario-type thing almost. Uh, yeah, well, let's ditch this key. But uh, yeah, the violence, the, the set pieces and everything were still great. But yeah, I love the Max Payne games. I love that that whole vibe, that noir detective type stuff. Um, Gatti Goyard says, But Drinker, you intoxicated artist of poetic literary devices. Uh, like the videos, keep it up. Thank you, my friend. 
Um, Stephen Bobo says, Drinker, I hear the rumors they're bringing back the Parasite Eve games. No, holy shit. I remember the first one from like, Jesus, it must have been like 1998, 1999. It was a Square game. And yeah, it was like a weird mixture of Final Fantasy VII and Resident Evil. Never seen anything quite like it, but quite a fun experience all the same. Um, Sweeping Hamster says you probably get this question a hundred times, but what do you think of the Resident Evil 4 remake? I mean, based on the trailers, looks okay. Um, DB says... Uh, yeah, Drinker, have you played Elden Ring yet? Co-op with Az. I have played Res um, Elden Ring. Oh, hello. Um, you've had a bad day, clearly. I haven't completed it yet because it's really fucking hard. Um, and I kind of moved on to some other stuff while I was halfway through it. But uh, I enjoyed it so far. It's challenging, I'll say that much. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on right now. Alright, what have we got here? Something useful? Yes, the control room key. I need you. Fuck off! Yeah, I, I would not want to stream myself playing Elden Ring because, Jesus, it looks, uh, it's repetitive as fuck. Damn. take it just in case. Who knows? Might come in handy. What's this little thing? <laughs> I had to do it. We ran from those things helping each other to survive, but Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I just had to leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this have happened? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually I'll get what's coming to me though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything's set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand that at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. Also, delete my browser history. All right, what is this? Another magazine? The fuck? I mean, I guess. <laughs> what is this little thing? Does it? What is it? Fire? Okay, right. So it fires magnum rounds. Fair enough. Oh, I kind of want to use this on something now. Anyway, we have the control room key. But I should probably ditch this gun because it's a bit shit. Yeah, let's ditch this. Yeah. <laughs> People are pointing out, it's a Derringer, yeah. But they were the sort of guns that you would hide in, like, your your hat or something. Um, or a woman would hide them in her stockings. And it's just handy for, like, popping someone at close range, I guess. Alright, that should be all I need right now. Well, I need the crank? I don't think so. Keep the control room key, obviously. Uh, I don't think there's anything else there that's... Yeah. Poker player's gun, as JPB was saying. Yeah, very true. If it doesn't go your way. Andrew Tapp says, Drinker, what's your opinion on Peaky Blinders? I like it. It's a really good show.
guy in Fedora, Fedora says, help, some guy just told me that Rings of Power is better than the original movies. <laughs> you need to take that man out of circulation as soon as possible. Clearly, he is too dangerous to be allowed to live. Uh, how'd you get into this one? Gallery. Okay, there must be a key downstairs or something. Let's go. I always think the basement music down here is really creepy. Uh, Tassiguru says, Good day, drinker. Long time fan from Tasmania. Do a review of Wolf Creek movies one day. Long time fan for all your work, mate. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Yeah, the first Wolf Creek was really good. I haven't seen the others, but um, yeah, you just kind of expect Australians to be laid back and chill. And then when you find out one of them's a serial killer, it's like, God damn. That's a uh, that's, uh, change of pace. All right, let's see. Oh, I wonder what I have to do with these boxes. remember this in the original game like it was an even more like tedious time consuming puzzle when the boxes were like way at the other end of a long corridor and you just had to slowly push them along i just thought you assholes capcom like why are you doing this just wasting my time i assume there's nothing in that box by the way because if that's got stuff in it that must weigh like an absolute ton Baron Duke Monarch V says Yellowstone is good. It really fucking is, by the way. I've uh, just started watching it because loads of people recommended it. And I'm like six episodes in and really like it. It's like really hard hitting. There's always stuff going on in every episode. Like it really feels like it's progressing all the time. Uh, the characters are interesting. Yeah, I, I fucking love that. All right. Oh, shit. Help if I walk the right direction. Okay, let's see if I can remember how we do this. Yeah, the drinker does recommend Yellowstone. Alright. What's the deal here again? Oh, let's just check if there's anything at this side. I don't think there is right now. Just anything that I can pick up? No. Okay. Jill in a wet t-shirt. Yeah, someone's asking as well, why are they making a second season of Squid Game? Won't it be just another generic time to expose the bad guys kind of story? Yeah, that's kind of... Fuck off. That's that's kind of what it feels like. The, the tension and... Um, you know, intrigue is not really going to be there anymore. So I just don't see the point in it. But the first season was perfectly good. I enjoyed it. Hmm. Am I in the wrong place? No. Should be able to get in here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got to go into the control room. Duh.
Okay, let's see, where are we at? Ah, yes. In case, open valve number one. Right. Question, in case we're dropping oil pressure control, open valve number one. Fine. This isn't going to end well. Emergency, emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Okay. So this is where we need valve number one. Reaching fifty percent of pressure threshold. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Okay, uh, safety needs to be released, uh? Right, where's the safety? Reaching 70% of pressure threshold. Alright. And pull it. Nice. This safety mechanism seems unnecessarily complex. Okay, we're safe. Now it can drain, actually. I need to drain all the tank. Okay. Okay, good. Uh, the next uh, super chat here came from Analog Pill. He says, since you dabble in several creative endeavors, such as your writing, your review show, etc., what advice do you have when it comes to managing your time? This is a major struggle for me personally. It's, uh, yeah, man, it's not easy. I'm not going to lie. Um, particularly if you've got, like, a job, you've got maybe family commitments and everything. You've, you've just got to be disciplined um, about when you're going to allocate time for, for things like writing. Um, make that time and stick to it because um, it's the only way to get shit done and it can be yeah it can be a bit of a grind but that is kind of the nature of uh, of writing a book you know you've got to you've got to do it day after day and um, you'll 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 see the results ultimately uh, oh yeah I'll have you Okay, so right, I don't want to go up there just yet because I've got a feeling that's going to take me back into yeah. Uh, Big Daddy MRI says, "Hey Drinker, I'm really enjoying watching these videos and commentary. Let's do uh, these more often. Watching the game and killing bots. Cheers, mate. Ah, oh, thank you, man. Uh, this is one of my mods. Um, absolute fucking legend. Really appreciate him um, stepping in because." This was totally unscripted. I didn't, like, tell anyone I was doing this or anything. I just kind of do it when I've got the time. Um, but, yeah, I appreciate him coming in to help out a little bit with this. Okay, so I think I've got everything I need from here. And if I go back upstairs... Yeah, where does that then take me? Oh yeah, okay. 
Let's go up. Uh, McGee says, what's your favorite Resident Evil game? Brit says, hi, she likes the accent. She was from Australia. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I mean, this I absolutely love. I love um, the original trilogy on the PS1 and the remake of Resident Evil 2. They absolutely nailed it with that one. So all of those games are really enjoyable. Um, and it's really difficult to try and pick between them. Uh, I'm always going to have a soft spot for the original Resident Evil. Um, as cheesy and, and goofy as it is, god damn, it's fun. Oh no! Yeah, I forgot about that. Motherfucker. You sure? Might have to go back down there then. Sadly. Music, um, but it's got that really dark, sort of sinister edge to it as well. It's weird. I always feel a bit sad for the sharks as well when you go in there and the place has been drained and they're just like flopping around on the floor. Um, it's like, yeah, you don't really want to see animals suffering, even if uh, even if they're total assholes that try to eat you. What's in here? Yes. <laughs> Stuff Vulture says, nah, fuck them sharks. <laughs> See, I could put you out of your misery, but you know, I kind of need the shotgun shells. Like, you'd understand, don't you? Hmm. I'm sure this one won't cause problems later. Okay. Probably not a good thing then. Do I just try and leave? Uh, I don't want to get electrocuted. Hmm. Strange. Hey, man. All oh, right. I'd forgotten about that. You can push that thing. God damn it. Drinker, you silly sausage. Push it in. Should have realized that. And fry, motherfucker. It's toast. Okay. Something over here. I need you. Yeah. Residence key. The residence of evil, you might say. Frying intensifies. Come on. In you go. Get where I'm going. All right. Ooh. 
Oh, someone's spamming the chat again. I'll get you. There you go. I got them. Look at that. I did a little bit of mod work by myself. It's probably like the one and only time I was halfway useful. Yeah, fuck off, bots. Okay, so I got the residence key. We gotta go back upstairs. Let's do this, Jill. Bounce, 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 bounce. bounce. How are we doing with this? Gallery. There we go. Well, our solution is clear, gentlemen. We have to go to the library. Casey Boyd says, Drinker, do you dabble in, in any Nintendo games or mainly horror shooter RPG? That pretty much describes my taste in games. Horror shooter and role-playing games. Yes, I will discard that. Oh god, this is where I have to do some... <laughs> Ooh, okay. This is where I probably should use those lamps in, uh, in the residence. But, bear with me one second. I'm going to make a total random guess and see if I can... actually have to go to that other room and get it. Okay. I'm going to need the lighter. Yeah. It's the it's the pool room with the spiders. Basically, the code solution is in there. I'm gonna need the lighter though. Ditch you. Take you instead. Uh, that should do for now. Oh, Shark Dentures says I skipped your super chat. Sorry, let me let me bring that up. I don't want to miss one. Just give me one second while I do that. Uh, <laughs> Said Shark Dentures says I take personal offense to that. <laughs> Was there another one that I'd missed here? Uh, I don't see it. No, I think we're okay. Uh, Monkey Man says, Have you played Alan Wake? I, for one, can't wait for the second one. Uh, no, I haven't played the Alan Wake games actually. Um, what else we got? Okay. Got this. Let's go. Come on, Joe. Get in there. 
Oh, right, Casey Boyd says, I ask you if you like Gears of War, drinker in Super Chat. Oh, sorry, I must have missed that one. Uh, in which case, yeah, I kind of like the Gears of War games, like, not totally, like, mad into the lore or anything behind them. Um, but yeah, just for a bit of absolute over-the-top violence, great stuff. Can't really fault them for that. Uh, don't mind me, spider. So, a strange thing that hovers in the reddish light. So that's the eye, red eye. Okay. What's the other one then? Okay. Use. Another one down here as well. Yep, there it is. Take a look at the pool balls. Red, green, and orange, so it's like what? Uh, three, so, <laughs> red three, orange five, green six. I don't know. All right, okay. A <laughs> game of words says, hey, drink your nice balls. Let's see if this works. It might not, because maybe I might... <gasps> Fuck off, you spider. Okay. Casey Boyd says, uh, I forgot to ask you, drinker. Oh, sorry. Uh, would you consider... Pairing up with an artist to make a graphic novel or comic book version of Dark Harvest or any other of your books. I mean, I would consider it, yeah, for sure. It's, um, you know, I get kind of a lot of interest in, in doing various projects and stuff on the side. Um, and it's just, uh, yeah, it's finding the right people to work with. But, yeah, not against it. It's just um, whether there would then be enough interest to, to make it a viable prospect, I suppose. Scott Chown says, are my super chats going through? I uh, don't... Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, drinker, you cunning connoisseur of creativity. You, sir, are my idol and I cherish your channel. Uh, like the last drops of scotch in my glass. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. And uh, I'm glad you're enjoying my stuff. Uh, right. Yes. Okay, so... Let's see if I can recall what we had here. It was... Uh... Orange, yeah, so, no, so it was red, three, orange, five, and then green, six. Yay! All right, look at that, I figured something out. That's not very often I can do that, so I'm pleased. All right, let's do this bullshit here. So, oh, lots of glasses. Yeah, I've got to mix up the V-jolt here. Ugh. This is where things get even more fun. So, 1 plus 3 equals 4. 4 plus 6 equals 10. This is where you need to get a pen and paper out. 1 plus 6 equals 7. Yeah, okay. It's one. Right, so... One and three equals four. What are you? Three. Okay, so this is where I need some space in my inventory. I'm going to need at least two empty glasses to do this. Yep. Next one 
next one. Okay, two. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to need that on number three. Yes. I'm also going to need number one. No, I don't want you right now. I think number one might actually just be water. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a punt on this one and assume that number one is just water. So I'll go with that, and then I'll mix those two together. Uh, right. So one plus three equals four. Yes. Okay. So yep. And then we need four plus six equals ten. So your number six over here. Come on. No. Come on, Joe. Look at it. Yes. Okay, so we need four plus six, which is fine. Hey, wait, what? Oh, okay. Yeah, I find it did it automatically. And then one plus six equals seven. Fucking hell, right? Right, combine. So now we've got seven, and then next step was... It's not like I took a photograph of this or anything. Um, 10 plus 7 is 17, and then 17 plus 3 is 20. Right, okay. So we need to mix these two together. And then last of all, we need number 3, which is this fella. Yes. All right, mix them. Vigil, yay! All right, we got it. So now that we have Vigil, let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, just while I'm doing this, I know there's a few super chats that have come in here. Uh, next one was. Uh, give me one second. Hey, Drink, uh, Danny says, Drinker, drink, big fan of your work. I believe I've seen every video you've made on YouTube. I'm curious, though, do you watch anime? I mean, not really. Occasionally stuff from, like, Studio Ghibli and stuff, but I'm not massive into it, and I am absolutely open to getting into it, though, because apparently it's, it's dominating, like, Western cinema now. Uh, Working Jellyfish says, Drinker, listening to your voice now on a different mic, I'm guessing, reminds me of your early videos. Watching your channel grow has been a real treat. Keep up the great work, you bloody legend. Yeah, I'm just wearing a cheap gaming headset for this, so I'm sorry my voice sounds a bit shitty, uh, but you do what you can. And uh, yeah, thanks for your support, man. I'm glad you're enjoying my stuff. Uh, Big Pants McGee says, I just hope she's uh, hopped in, so forgive me if this has already been asked, but what are your thoughts on Silent Hill announcements, specifically the Silent Hill 2 remake? I mean, I'm interested enough to play it. Uh, I know some people are mad about the way that uh, James is getting portrayed. Um, you know, that it's, uh, it's not about his gradual descent into madness. He's already, like, crazy right off the bat. But uh, I'll reserve judgment, you know. I think to see it in, like, next-generation graphics should be nice and chilling, so it could be fun to play. Um, the Lizard King of DC says Galadriel is my queen. She's stunning and brave. She is all of those things and more. Uh, and annoying as fuck. So, hey, there you go. <laughs> all right. Next step in our process here. Oh no, I don't have this. Alright, I might need to get rid of some stuff here if I'm gonna... Can I get rid of this? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Alright. I'll use this. I will take the insecticide spray, thank you. Ah! 
No. Ah, <laughs> the bees! Right, use. Really? Oh, I've got to use it. I've got to use it from the other side, have I? <laughs> that guy is fucked up. Right, okay, I got you. Fuck off now. I don't need that handgun ammo there. Do without that. There was another super chat that came in there. That was Big Funky Gunky. Says, uh, Hey Drinker, I'm curious your opinion of the Walking Dead series and if you'd be able to give an analysis of where they went wrong in later seasons, considering how well it started off and how the writers later butchered it. I think it was just too much of a good thing to some extent. Like, it just went on for so fucking long. I think everyone was pretty much done with it by that point. And also... Um, yeah, it was just um, the the Negan War storyline. I think a lot of people point to like the point where they they killed off Glenn, and Abraham is just that was where the show just jumped the shark. And I, I sort of agree. Um, and it kind of gave way to a lot of action and just fighting and all that, rather than like character driven horror drama. So all of those things combined just really snookered it, really. Uh... Right, okay, so I've used that. Should be able to go in there now. Right, what have we got here? I will take the resident's key, thank you. Yeah, it is a bit shit without Rick Grimes, as people are pointing out. Yes, now I feel like I'm going to need a whole bunch of stuff in order to make this happen, to deal with Plant 42. I'm going to have to use the Vigil on the routes downstairs, and I'm going to need the book to get through here, but let's take a look in this room anyway. Let's see what we got. I'll deal with Plant 42 and then I'll finish the stream for the night, I think. Ooh, what are you? Oh, an ink ribbon. Uh, not right now. Okay, not a huge amount going on in here. Ah, something here. <laughs> okay, yeah. Use the Vigil. Oh yeah, I should probably save my game. Is there anything in the toilet? They've all got the exact same design, these rooms. One little bunk room and one bathroom. Yeah. Nothing bad ever happened from doing this, I'm sure. I will take the dagger, thank you. Whoa. Right, so, time to go downstairs, use the vigil, happy days. Mr. Brown Alliance says, the critical drinker, are you killing things? I am. I'm, you might say I'm winning, son. <laughs> K. 
Okay. Let's use the V jolt. Someone's saying the dumbest thing they did was take out Carl's eye. Yeah, he just gets shot in the middle of like a battle. It's weird. It doesn't actually like explode the back of his head or anything, it just takes out his eyeball. <laughs> Lenny Barcella says, uh, Maggie, I'll find you. <laughs> There's a great robot chicken sketch of that where it's like he didn't die in that bit and he's just kind of retarded after that. <laughs> Maggie's like, yeah, we play a lot of hide and seek in our house these days. <laughs> Coral! Damn, I got a lot of stuff here. All right. Don't need you, don't need you, don't need you. Don't need you, but I will take. Uh, there was something here. Take the Magnum? I don't think I'll need it. Uh, yeah, I will need that, actually. Okay, that should be everything. I'll take the grenade launcher just in case it all goes tits up. Sorry, Mr. Brown was also asking what was in the Atari item uh, thing in my um, my like glass case when I did like a, a setup tour. Yeah, so it's like it's an Atari twenty six hundred with a bunch of games like controller and yeah, that's that's pretty much all the stuff in it. Uh, yeah, where's the the hatch again? Uh, okay, yeah, it's down there. Uh, yeah, so like the first ever games console that I got was an Atari 2600, and it's not like it was even relevant at the time. Like it was an ancient piece of shit even then, but it was just like a friend of my parents had it, and they asked if I wanted it, and I was like, "Fuck yeah, I'll take that!" And I was like, "Holy shit, I'm playing a video game! It was amazing!" And um, yeah, quickly moved beyond that and got like a Super Nintendo. And but yeah, I always had fond memories of it, and I'd kept it in a box somewhere. And weirdly, it still works after about. 35 years, it still runs, and that is pretty impressive. <laughs> Someone's saying, Donwell, my first was a Sinclair Spectrum with the rubber keys. God damn. That is an old one. That is a golden oldie right there. Dave Pitt's saying I have something called a Vectrex. Yeah, I remember the Vectrex. That used, um, that used vector graphics, which was cool as fuck. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in here that I need. Um, yeah, it was such a unique graphical style. It was really weird, but really cool. Freddy says, ever consider making a game? I think the times when like people could just make a, a game in their, their bedroom in their spare time is just, yeah, it's long gone, sadly. Um... You need like development teams in the hundreds and like a budget of about 20 million to be able to make a game nowadays. Oh man, the bots are back. They always find a way. Someone said they had the original Pong console. That's impressive. Hello, Sharky. Yeah, someone's asking what's my thoughts on hell and uh oh shit. Fuck is this thing? Oh, let's see if I can use this. There we go. Yeah, well Helena Taylor's botched negotiation for her pay on Bayonetta 3. <laughs> yeah. She fucked that one up big time. Ah oh, dear. Okay. 
So, is there anything else I need in here? Anything in the locker? Nothing special inside. But is there anything mediocre inside? Yeah, nothing here really. Okay, anything written on the wall? No. Okay, well I guess that's that taken care of. Now I need to just take on Plant 42. Can I actually get out this way? That's the question. Or is the way going to be blocked? Oh, it probably is as well. Son of a bitch. You're going to make me waste my time here. I have to go back the way I came. Nihilist Graphics also says, Huntsman, The Orphanage, still one of my favourite indie games. Australian family made it at their kitchen table on a laptop using their friends as voice talent. That is impressive. That's cool as fuck. There was always a game that stuck in my mind. It was called... Um, it was either Out of This World or Another World. Uh, I think it was Another World it was called, but really like crazy revolutionary graphics for like the early 90s i think it was the commodore amiga it came out on and it was all designed and made by one dude just working in his spare time did the whole thing himself there was apparently no dialogue in it either it was all just um you know you, you kind of inferred everything that was going on based on like what you saw around you it's uh it's really impressive stuff and i just don't think you you get things like that anymore it's obviously games technology has moved on to the point where you need huge development teams to make it work. Oh, he made flashback as well. That's a good one. Yeah, I remember that. The intro for Another World was so cool. Like, it was so cinematic. Um, brilliant. Like, again, just a guy made it by himself. some weapons, got the book I need. Uh, I might grab myself a bit of healing items because this is a fight. And it can fuck you up. Someone asked me, do I ever go to Inverness? I mean, I've been in there. It's fine. I've stayed in some hotels up there. It's a nice part of the world to be. Uh, plenty of pubs up there because there's not much else to do in the winter time. And yeah, I'm not sure I could live up there permanently. Like it's uh, you're pretty far north when you're in Inverness. Okay, let's get a few first aid sprays because probably need them. And. Uh, I could really just do with one ink ribbon I could then discard. And there ain't one. Alright. We'll just have to take the pack. That's got to be enough. Surely. Drink, uh, David Black says, Drinker, have you enjoyed Torment? I'm sorry, have you played Tormented Souls? I have not. Um, sorry. Uh, Joyful Cheese says, Worked in the UK store game in the golden age of consoles, N64 and Dreamcast into the PlayStation 1, 2, GameCube, Xbox 360. Great times were had. They really were indeed. Um, it's funny when I think about it, right? Because when I started high school, um, we were just coming out of the 16 bit era. So. You know, you still had, like, the Super Nintendo with, like, Donkey Kong Country and, like, Mario 
um, Mario World and stuff like that were like the height of technology. By the time I left high school, you, the PlayStation 2 was out and you had games like Grand Theft Auto 3, um, Silent Hill 2 and stuff. Like it was just a completely different world and it changed so rapidly in such a short space of time. Like it's hard to comprehend now. Um, how much technology advanced in such a short space of time. You remember the memory expansion pack on the N64? Yeah, you had to plug it into the controller. It was weird. The N64 was a weird console. It really was. It came along pretty late in the game and yeah, it just never really made an impact. Not in the UK anyway. I don't know if it was different in America. Let's save our game here because we're going into Fight Plant 42. Yeah, David Jacobs pointing out, like, yeah, I'm sure Goldeneye didn't make an impact at all. Yeah, that was the game. That was the game that fucking everyone played, or at least talked about. Um, and you always had one mate that had it, and you'd go into his house to play it. But um, there was that, and there was Mario 64, and I just feel like they weren't enough to, like, change the... Oh, fuck this again. Uh, right, and we've got a naked woman here. Mm. Okay, that's got to go at the far end. Yep, and then we need that to go there. <laughs> I can see boobs. Uh, then we need like this to go here. That's, that's it. All right, there we go. Well, that's nice. <laughs> what the hell is this thing? Love, I just got a convenient flamethrower. <laughs> Drinker has not played the N64 and seen what I have seen. <laughs> Tentacle porn time, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Although all those weapons and ammo that I brought in were kind of pointless. <laughs> Seems like post-sex talk here. Thought I was finished. Was close. Yeah. Thanks again. <laughs> Don't mention it. But what was that? What the hell's going on in this place? I can't figure it out at all. Oh, what have we got over here? That looks like a key. The kind of key that you use in a mansion. Uh, I love Barry. He's like the grumpy old man of the series. I, th I really like him in Revelations too as well, how he's a proper dad making dad jokes. And he's just like goofy as fuck. But uh, yeah, you gotta respect him. You know, he's he's done his bit for, for Resident Evil. Anything up here that I need to look for? Not really. Ooh, this is a weirdly low-res background. It's like they forgot to upscale it or something. Never mind. Right, okay. Well, let's get out of here. Barry. Uh, can we get out of here? Yeah. <laughs> Here's a question. Yeah, Matthew Montgomery. What do you think Barry's drink of choice is? 
I see him enjoying a, a nice ice cold beer. You know, probably something domestic and pretty simple, <laughs> like a Coors or something. So you're safe. Ah, the man himself. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. He's basically just Iceman, but in Star's uniform. Did you notice? Barry, he sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything... Yeah, if only I had guns that could shoot through locks and doors and stuff. Yeah. It always seems strange, like... Why would the game tell me that I need to go to the mansion now when it's very obvious I found a mansion key and that's exactly where I need to go? Uh, Big Mike says... If you ever do check out anime and manga, I highly recommend Berserk. You'd love the story and setting, lots of humor and dark fantasy elements. Yeah, I've heard nothing but good things about Berserk, so um, yeah, I would be I'd be very happy to watch it. Uh, Taker610 says they filmed episode six of Andor in the Scottish Highlands, Glen Tilt Park. Sh um, Perthshire, to be exact, reminds me of that video you made early on. Yes, um, it does look very Scottish, and I got that feeling that that's where they filmed it. A friend of mine actually had the opportunity to be in Andor, because he's like an extra, um, just, you know, doing various TV shows and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think it didn't work out with like a whole bunch of like work commitments he had, so he couldn't make it. But uh, it would have been quite interesting to see that. But hey-ho. Uh, probably not going to need that, I don't think. What I think I'm going to do is save my game here, because we've done a decent bit of progress tonight. Um, and do one more live stream to finish up the game, because I think that'll be enough to get us through it. Uh, but yeah, well, give me a second here. Alrighty, we is done. Well, that's been awesome tonight. I've I've loved getting back into Resident Evil Remake. It's been great fucking fun. It's been good fun hanging out with all you guys here. And, uh, well, probably the next time you see me will be on Wednesday when I'm doing a live stream with Dankula. We're going to be doing a happy hour on Event Horizon because why the fuck not? Um, but yeah, for now at least, I think that's all I've got for tonight. Thank you very much for the generous super chats and thanks for hanging out with me. But uh, that is all I've got for today. So, go away now. <laughs>